We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. In a world where stress grips the minds of the mighty and the humble alike, where does one turn for solace? Imagine if the ancient wisdom of a Stoic philosopher could be the key to unlocking a serene mind in our modern chaos. Welcome, warriors of the mind, to a journey back in time to the courtyards of ancient Rome, where the wisdom of Seneca awaits to guide us through the tumultuous seas of modern stress. Today, we delve into the Stoic philosophy of Seneca, not as a historical study, but as a living, breathing solution to the stress that besieges our daily lives. Let us embark on this journey together, discovering timeless strategies for resilience, peace, and ultimate stress relief. In the bustling streets of our modern cities, stress seems a constant companion, yet this is no new adversary. Seneca, in his tranquil Roman garden, contemplated stress not as a product of circumstances, but as a reflection of our internal battles. He observed that while the nature of stresses has evolved, the essence of stress, a disconnect between our desires and reality, remains unchanged. Through his eyes, we see that stress, then and now, is not about the external world, but our response to it. Seneca eloquently argued that our tranquility is not tethered to the whims of fate. Rather, it resides in our ability to remain steadfast amidst the storm. He believed that external circumstances, no matter how tumultuous, could not penetrate the fortress of a serene mind. This perspective invites us to reconsider our relationship with stress emphasizing an inner sanctuary of peace over external control. The concept of control and acceptance in mitigating stress, central to Seneca's teachings, is the dichotomy of control, distinguishing between what lies within our power and what does not. He counseled that our energy should focus on our actions, thoughts and responses, accepting the flow of events beyond our reach. This wisdom illuminates a path to stress relief, where acceptance does not mean resignation, but empowerment, choosing where to invest our precious mental resources wisely. Seneca proposed that it is not events themselves that disturb us, but the views we take of them. In the tapestry of life, our perceptions are the threads that color our reality, suggesting that stress is not a given, but a choice. By adopting this philosophy, we can transform our perception of stresses from insurmountable mountains into manageable hills, demonstrating that the power to alleviate stress lies not in changing our circumstances, but in redefining our perception of them. Building on the notion that perception shapes our reality, Seneca emphasized the importance of perspective. He illustrated how a shift in viewpoint could turn adversity into advantage, stress into strength. This teaches us that by altering our perspective, we can not only diminish the impact of stresses, but also uncover hidden opportunities for growth and resilience. Seneca advocated for practical exercises to cultivate a more empowering perspective. One such exercise involves questioning our initial reactions to stressors, asking ourselves whether there is a more constructive way to view the situation. By regularly challenging our perceptions, we can gradually train our minds to default to a more positive and less stressful perspective, embodying Seneca's wisdom in our daily lives. Seneca, with the insight of a sage, understood the importance of anchoring oneself in the present moment. He cautioned against the human tendency to dwell on the past or worry about the future, recognizing that such habits only serve to amplify stress. By advocating for a focus on the here and now, Seneca's teachings align with the practice of mindfulness, encouraging us to fully engage with the present moment, where peace can be found and stress dissipated. Delving deeper into the practice of mindfulness, Seneca believed that by concentrating our mental energies on the present, we could significantly reduce our anxiety about the future. 
He understood that most stress stems from fears of what might happen rather than what is happening. By adopting a mindful approach, we learn to appreciate the current moment, alleviating unnecessary worry and fostering a sense of tranquility. Seneca offered several techniques to cultivate mindfulness, each designed to bring our attention back to the present. One such technique involves deliberate reflection on our daily experiences, savoring each moment's texture and nuance. Another involves meditation, where quiet contemplation helps detach our thoughts from the past and future, rooting us firmly in the now. Through these practices, we embody stoic mindfulness, transforming our approach to stress and enriching our daily lives with peace and presence. In the heart of stoic philosophy, resilience emerges not as a trait some are born with, but as a virtue cultivated through deliberate practice. Seneca, in his reflections, portrayed resilience as the ability to withstand life's tempests with equanimity. For him, resilience was akin to a well-fortified city, impervious to the external chaos, a metaphor for the inner strength that each individual can develop. Through Stoicism, we learn that resilience is forged in the crucible of adversity, tempered by the wisdom to see beyond momentary disturbances. Seneca offered a blueprint for building mental and emotional strength by encouraging a relationship with hardship not as a foe, but as a teacher. He advocated for the practice of voluntary discomfort, such as periodic abstinence from pleasures or enduring physical hardships to fortify the spirit against future stresses. By intentionally stepping into our discomfort zones, we can expand our capacity to handle stress, thereby embodying the stoic ideal of resilience. To cultivate resilience, Seneca proposed several strategies, one of which is the reflection on and visualization of potential challenges and adversities, a practice known as premeditatio malorum. This mental rehearsal of worst-case scenarios not only demystifies fear, but also prepares the mind to face actual difficulties with a calm and composed attitude. Additionally, maintaining a journal to reflect on daily experiences and emotional responses can serve as a tool for self-examination and growth, aligning with Seneca's advice to learn from every situation life presents. Seneca, amidst the political turmoil and personal challenges of his time, sought and taught the path to inner peace. He understood that tranquility is not found by changing our external environment, but by cultivating an inner serenity that remains unshaken by external events. Seneca's letters and essays are replete with counsel on maintaining composure and peace in the face of life's inevitable upheavals, illustrating that the stoic path to tranquility is through mastering the turmoil within. One of Seneca's most powerful tools for achieving inner peace is the practice of premeditatio malorum, or the premeditation of evils. This exercise involves contemplating potential future hardships, not to induce fear, but to diminish their power over us. By familiarizing ourselves with the worst case scenarios and realizing that we have the inner resources to cope with them, we can face life's uncertainties with a calm and steady heart, significantly reducing the impact of stress and fear. To sustain the tranquility that Seneca espouses, he recommends incorporating certain habits into our daily routine. These include setting aside time for self-reflection, engaging in philosophical reading and contemplation, and practicing gratitude for the present moment's gifts. Additionally, Seneca suggests regular engagement in community and relationships, emphasizing the role of social bonds in fostering a peaceful mind. By adopting these practices, we can build a life of serenity rooted in the wisdom of Stoic philosophy that stands resilient in the face of the world's chaos. As we conclude our journey through the Stoic wisdom of Seneca, it's clear that the keys to unlocking stress relief lie within our grasp. By understanding stress through Seneca's eyes, 
harnessing the power of perception, practicing mindfulness, building resilience, and walking the path to inner peace. We equip ourselves with the tools to face the modern world's challenges with a calm and steady heart. Warriors of the mind, if today's voyage into the heart of Stoicism has empowered you, I urge you to like and comment on this video, sharing your insights and experiences. Subscribe to our channel for more philosophical guidance and follow us on our social media platforms to join a community of like-minded individuals. Dive deeper into the wisdom of the ancients by watching another of our videos. Farewell, warriors, until our paths cross again in the pursuit of wisdom and strength.